Good Sunday morning, everyone. It is cold and rainy here in Kentucky. I did my first Tuesday morning craft haul yesterday. It was exhilarating and stressful and crazy. For anybody that's not ever been to Tuesday morning, which I've never been before, Laura was unable to make it with me yesterday, which is sad because I think she probably would have kept me within my budget and made me seem a little bit more reasonable or make more rational decisions, but that's okay. Um, so I went there and I saw a few little craft things in a corner and I was like, oh, okay, so this is it. And then I hear like this, it sounded like a chicken coop. There was just like all this clucking and just crazy noises going on. I thought, what is that? And I walked down and looked, and there it was. It was the craft aisle. So in the particular Tuesday morning that I went to, it was, um, sorry, I've got dial over my hands. I've been crafting this morning. But um, it was about the size, the aisle was about the size of our Michael's aisle. It was one side, probably 50 foot, maybe. I'm not good with measurements. And it had about 300 times the amount that the um, Michael's clearance section has in it. But it was wonderful. I loved it. You just kind of picked a place, started at one end, and just started going through everything. I actually went through and I cleared one of the little pegs off on the thing and started going through everything on it and just rotating things down to that peg so I could go through everything on every single peg. Anything that I thought I might possibly want, I just went ahead and threw in my buggy. And then whenever I was able to, I went over to the furniture department and found a table and kind of laid everything out on the table and picked out what I had that were doubles and things that I thought I might already have something similar to at home. My main goal whenever I went was I wanted some like flowers and foliage type stamps because I recently got a bunch of alcohol markers and some of the, um, what are these? The Stampin' Blends markers and I just really wanted something I could color in a little bit. I mean, I love stamping stuff, but I wanted to, you know, actually color stuff in a little bit because it just looks like a whole lot of fun. So I'm going to start right off here with my Tuesday morning Stampin' haul. So I got these. I love these. I'm always looking for something to put on cards. I don't make a whole lot, but I I just like, like I don't like overly um, sweet things to say. I know that's crazy because it says sweet right there. But, you know, I, I like them to be more of a, a, a cover statement that you can make and send a card to somebody. Like it's not always for a birthday. Sometimes it's just to send a card to say hi or you know, something, I don't want everything to be holiday related or sympathy or whatever. So I got those. And this one was on clearance. I got these cool little, um, there's three of them in here, cool little mason jars. I love these. I can't wait to use those. Oh, look how they used them. I hadn't even thought about that, but that's really neat. I thought they would go good in my junk journals. Um, these, I have a thing for stars. I love stars. I don't, I'm thinking we have stars. I don't know whether we have, I know we have discussed stars, but I don't know whether we actually have them or not. So there's that. And I actually got two of these. They're Tim Holtz. And they are repositional magnet dies. Um, I got two of them. I thought maybe we could put one of them in one of our little giveaway boxes. And... I got this. I love any kind of trees, limbs, twigs, whatever. Love them. And I love Tim Holtz, so that was a win-win. I got this adorable washi tape. I am a camper. If you've not seen any of my videos on my other channel, um, we're always camping. So it's got some deer and some little campers and s'mores. And this is really cool. Man, that light, I'm sorry, is kind of in a bad, bad way. Let me put that up there. So there's a tent. And little boots and carabiners and cups and tents and lanterns and some plaid and some constellations. Really cool. It was only $5.99. And I normally wouldn't have bought more washi tape. We have tons. 
I bet we have a thousand rolls, honestly. But I have absolutely none that have anything to do with camping. And I loved this big wide one right here in the middle with the mountains and the tent and everything. And another little mason jar and some flowered stamps. And this one says, thanks for everything and for you and love. And butterfly. And isn't, this is such a good price because after we left... Um, Tuesday morning, we went to Michael's and the cheapest dye you can get there that I could find. And I was just kind of running through quick because I was just looking for one thing. It was like $9.99. It was like the cheapest dye that you could get. And that would just be this dye. That wouldn't include the stamps. So I was really impressed with Tuesday morning. And their other stuff was wonderful too. Um, their household stuff. Now, I could have gone crazy in there. So, I got some, I don't know if you guys know what the Inka Dinka Do Stamping Gear stuff is. When I finally looked it up whenever I got home, it came out in 2012. I didn't realize, I guess, in the hubbub of everything and the excitement that I needed this tool right here to make these. But I thought these looked awesome. Even if you don't have the tool. I just love these little, like, whimsical, decorative things. And I thought, yeah, I can get something to... To work with those i'll figure something out with them so i actually got four packs of these and um that's why i went to michael's because i didn't realize that it was that long ago that the inka dinka do thing came out the gear thing came out so um i went to michael's looking for it and they didn't have it and so i went to my next favorite which is amazon and they did have it, and I got really excited. Well, the backs of those are all the same. I got really excited, so I ordered it. So for like nineteen dollars, I got the circle or the oval and the circle. This is a cog. I think they call this the cog, and then it comes with a big circle. And this is the oval cog, and then it comes with a big oval one around here. And it kind of came with, I think, like a dozen more of these in the backpack for $19.99 and I had watched a video on YouTube last night and when that originally came out it was 60 bucks. So if something is older or you know it's not the fad thing right now I really don't care. I mean I, I like what I like and I think it's really cool. I didn't start or Laura and I didn't start crafting really until like right at a year ago. Um, she had done some scrapbooking before that and I did other things like painting and and stuff like that, but never really like stamping or anything at all like that. <clears throat> and, um, you know, the things are brand new to me. So, and I'm not up to keeping up with anybody or having to have the newest and the best. I just like what's new and fun for me. So, and I loved this stamp for coloring and stuff. I love the snails. And the mushrooms, and I had got some cool mushroom stamps from, or stickers from Wish. Actually, I don't know where they are, or I would show them to you, because they were pretty cool. He came in a little tiny box. Um, and I got this, and I knew that I didn't have the stamps to go with it, with this, the dye of the flower and everything, but I'm confident in myself that I can draw the flower in there. I'm, I can do, at least do that. So I was pretty excited to get those. There's some of the examples on the back. And I got these, the little wood stamps for my junk journals. I'm getting ready to start on a junk journal for my mom from where we went to California. And I'm excited about that. I actually picked out 150 pictures and put them on my Walgreens app. And whenever I went back to get them, they weren't on my Walgreens app anymore. And I just did not have it in me to go back through and pick out those pictures again. So as soon as I get them picked out again, then I will do that. And I love these layering stamps. Um, I don't have a lot of those here at my house. But we may have some at Laura's up in her craft room. I don't know. It's been a long time since we've actually gone through that stuff since we found there's new things that we would like to have. But Laura got me the Tim Holtz stamping platform for Christmas and I absolutely love that thing. So I am so excited to use some of these with it. Um, and these, I almost put one of these back. I thought they were the same whenever I was, you know, caught up in everything. Um, all these have good sayings too. Thanks friend, missing you, sending happy thoughts. See, they're not like over the top gushy or anything you amaze me another thank you and i think that's thinking of you um underneath that there 
But these will be so much fun to color in with the alcohol inks or watercolors. And, of course, I do love the butterflies. So back to the butterflies again. Um, may you always be brave enough to fly, smile, be your own kind of beautiful. And I have no idea what the one behind the sticker says. It's something about being beautiful. I don't know. It, okay. And this is the last one that I got from Tuesday morning. <clears throat> and I love snowflakes. I wish we could use them year round actually I, I may like this i think i said in an earlier video that it was after christmas by the time i finally got into the the whole motion or routine of making the christmas cards and actually kind of got the christmas thing the feeling for christmas christmas spirit i guess you would call it and to make the cards so I may just make them all year and keep them back because I was kind of in a rush right there at the end. And then after I went through all the trouble to make all the cards, which I love doing, somewhere something went wrong with the postal system. And I had people like in the middle of January saying, thanks for the Christmas card when I had clearly sent them out in time for them to get their cards. But anyways, I thought those were just really, really pretty. And I could probably almost like just half stamp it or quarter stamp it and you wouldn't be able to tell it was actually a snowflake. It was just a really pretty design. Um, I had a 40% off coupon like everybody does going into Michael's so I couldn't go in and come out with nothing. So I'm really, really proud of myself that I went in and came out with just this. Okay, I do have to tell you something. Um, I have my office over here and my husband is a musician. So across the hall and a couple doors back, he has his music studio and they are, shh, hey, they are recording, uh, vocals in there today. And there is something magical about music that once you go into a studio and you put it all together and lay it or layer it all up, it's wonderful music but if you ever heard anybody just record like vocals especially background vocals it is not a pretty thing so they're over there doing that so if you hear somebody yelling sound like they're in pain it's okay it's just background vocals going on two two bedroom doors down or two office doors down um with my husband over there so and I, I love these. I cannot wait to use these. I've eyeballed these every time I've gone into Michael's. Um, they were $9.99. I had the 40% off, and I'm like, I'm doing it. So I finally just I just did it. All right. Oh, hush. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey. It's daddy. Okay, I have all the dogs in here with me so that they don't interrupt daddy in their recording but anyways that was my tuesday morning haul my very first tuesday morning haul i was very impressed i will be back um or will be going back there are two of them in our local air kind of our local area in lexington and i'd like to go the other one i will not go back without laura though so um there you go. There's my Sunday morning haul. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you.